it's now uh, 10 days later, so what we're going to do now is we're going to, we have everything sterilized here. We have a half a cup of water. We have a device to mix up the packages, which is package four and five. And we also have the fining uh, agent. We also have the uh, hydrometer for we can measure. Now, I have this plastic um, whisk that uh, you, it gets connected to my drill and degasses the wine, which will definitely come in handy because I do have bad carpal so I wouldn't want to do that by hand so what I'm going to do right now is I'm just going to test the wine and I'm going to bring you back and show you what the test results are well it's now time to test the wine and we're just going to add the uh, hydrometer in and we're going to see how well it floats and it says it's just below 99 nine, looks like 990 990. Perfect. So now we're going to add in the chemicals and I'll bring you back. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a half a cup of water and it's going to be cool water. Let's get a measuring cup. I already measured mine out and now I'm going to add in the packages. Now you're going to want to make sure everything you use is sterilized so disinfect it and now open the containers and I'll bring you back. The metal, or I'm sorry, methyl sulfate. And I might have mispronounced that, and if I do, I'm definitely uh, sorry for that. But it's not a word I use very often, so I'm just going to take a fork that has also been sterilized, and I'm just going to stir it up before I add in the second pouch, which is the, uh, uh, I'm pretty sure it is pronounced, it's pronounced sorbate or sorbate, or sorbate. Anyway, so I'm just going to add that in and I'll bring you back. So we're now going to add in the last pack, which is the sorbate. And we're going to mix that up as well. And with the reason we're dissolving it in water is because it seems to work better if you dissolve it in water rather than actually adding it into the carboy and trying to uh, mix it up that way. So just going to dissolve it a little bit, take off the uh, airlock, the carboy, and then I'll bring you back and show you exactly how I'm going to mix it up to degas it. And I'll bring you back. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to pour that into the carboy now. And we're going to stir it vigorously. Now, the opening to stir it isn't very big. And you can use the end of your spoon, and but you'd have to have arms on you like a linebacker, and that's not really how how it works with me. And as you can see, it's already starting to do something, which is pretty cool. Kind of got a little nervous that it was going to go everywhere, but it kind of seems to have calmed down. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to start to mix it up. So, and in order to mix it up, I'm going to actually need to use my drill and my um, whisk tool, which I have here. So, I'll just bring you back when I have it all set up. So, as you can see, you just put your whisk in, and you just start spinning. And we're going to do this for about two minutes. It needs to be degassed. And it's going to come up, I think. It looks like... Oh, please don't come up. So we're only going to do it for about two minutes. We don't want it to go up too far. Now, degassing it is a very important part of clearing your wine. If you don't get all the gases out, it won't clear because we do have to let it sit for another 14 days. So that's when it clears, but it's not going to do it unless you degas it properly. So you're going to want to make sure that you have this done the way it's supposed to. And we'll wait another minute, make sure it doesn't spout out. I 
and it seems to be working fine. So I'm going to continue to degas the wine and I will bring you back to once we have the step done. So the two minutes has passed and we're still getting some gas, so we're just going to continue for a little bit longer just to make sure that no gas is left in it. So we'll bring you back. So what we're going to add in now is our finishing agent and then we're going to stir it again for another two minutes. And I'll just bring you back. So I'm just going to take my whisk detachment out now that I have it all spun out. I'm going to put my uh, airlock system back in. I'm going to fill the airlock system halfway like I did before and I'll bring you back in 14 days.